Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome to Secrets of the Universe. Today, we're going to learn how to make plutonium from common household items. Just kidding. We're going to make a telecaster. Man, it's good to get out of that lab coat. That thing was hot. <laughs> anyway, do a quick recap. Um, I think I teased the last video that I was going to build a telecaster. Saw that in the intro. Um, so we'll go through the parts. This is a body I got from Stratosphere. So Stratosphere is kind of like the auto dismantler of the guitar world. Um, you can buy bodies in different um, different levels of disassembly from a fully loaded body with no neck to just a body, no hardware. This one actually um, got, got my eye because I wanted to do a Bigsby, and this one had a Bigsby reinstalled or already pre-installed. So this is a, a Ventura uh, Fender, I believe, but got the body, um, standard pickup um, configuration. Um, what you noticed is I'm gonna, I bought a pick guard that I'm gonna use for this guy, and the pick guard is for a mini humbucker. So what you're gonna see me do is you can see me route this body to fit that new pickup. And then uh, got the other pieces, so let's, uh, let's move on. For pickups, chose a lot of pickups. So I've got a mini humbucker, and I've got two for the, uh, the bridge. I haven't figured out which of the two I'm gonna use. Uh, but that's something we'll reveal along the way. And then uh, control plate, which I've already pre-populated. Um, volume tone, it's three-way. One thing that's neat about this particular plate is you can see it's angled a little bit. So you basically get a little more room on the volume um, when you're selecting pickups. So I got that. Got my tuners, uh, favorite tuners, hip shots with the UMP. That way I don't have to do any drilling. And then finally, uh, we got the neck from Warmoth, roast maple, um, rosewood board, and then pre-installed nut because I've done a couple and it's kind of overrated, honestly, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, I've done it, I'd rather them do it, and then if I have to make any micro changes, I can make the micro changes and not have to do that. It's like, I think it's like $10 or something. No, it's $20, I think, from the pre-install it. Um, something along those, along those lines. But we'll dive into this, I'll route that body out, and uh, by the end we'll have a great playing guitar. Alright, we got the guitar on the bench, or the body on the bench. Um, first thing we need to do is figure out what I need to route out. So I've got my, my pick guard. Let me go line up the holes in the pick guard. And what we're going to do is we're going to tack it in place with a couple of screws. Okay, so that gives me the template I need for routing this guy out. So next thing, grab a sharpie. Let's mark this guy up. So that Alright, to do the route job, what I've got is router base. So this is actually a router base for a Dremel. Um, so this guy will actually go up on top of the body here and be able to go and route that. Alright, so we got our router bit installed. And as you can see, this, is, this, this will come down towards the body. You can actually adjust the depth that will go with this guy right here. So that way you don't go too deep into the body and kind of ruin the body. Bridge pickup, we're going to go Baller J Street. We got that going. 
And on the neck, we've got ourselves. Oh, wow, well, there's many humbuckers. So here we go. There's this guy right here. Very cool. So first thing, let's get that bridge off. And that way, that way we can uh, get access, put the bridge pickup in, get the wiring routed, and then start getting that pick guard on as well. All right, guys. Everything's mocked up. Uh, electrical is not done, so I haven't done the wiring yet. But pickups are in. Um, everything kind of lays out, fits the way it should. I'll put the neck on next. All right, tuners. This is why I love these hip shots so much. So, open the box. I've done this enough that I don't need those. So here's the UMP plates that I was talking about. So these are actually what keeps the tuning key from spinning and um, making it so you don't need to use any screws. Separate these two plates, because there's one for each three of the um, tuning posts. Gonna need the washers and the nuts from this guy. Not the screws, obviously. And then figure out, all right, who is the longest? Probably these right here, because I did get the staggered set. Um, so first things first, you find out which way you put these in so they don't spin. So this is the correct way. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a plate right there and a plate on the top. Those actually grab the tuning key, make sure that it doesn't move. And basically, um, there we go with that. And then you put those through the, through the peg head, put the guy right here. And it's a pretty easy, pretty easy deal. Once you get the other ones in, this, this guy's not moving anywhere. Because each one kind of holds the other one in place. So I'll get two in. And I'll try to move that. Try to move that. A tuning key and you'll see they're they're pretty much locked in place there's not a whole lot you can do to them once everything's tightened down and that's the reason why i love them no screws all right here we go everything's lined up strings are on um, the important thing is all the strings line up over all the slugs or in this case the screws we're not tuned up but i just wanted to mock everything in place everything looks good last thing to do it's going to go in the control plate and do the wiring, make sure everything is good, tune it up, and tune it, and we're almost to the finish line. Wiring done. Pretty much uh, double checked everything matches the uh, diagram, tone cap, all the grounds are together, and we got this little 470k resistor going across here um, that makes the uh, Single coil plain nice with a 500k volume pot. So I'm gonna button this guy up, go over to uh, tuner, get this thing tuned up, intonated, and uh, see what it sounds like. All right, one last test before we go there. Just forgot, I always do a test of the resistance of the pickups, make sure that the switch is functioning and we're seeing what we see. So right now we're bridge pickup, no, sorry, we're neck pickup. So neck pickup 6.4k. Got them both together, we're 3.73, and then bridge, it's on the hot side, but it's probably because of the resistor, 8.7K. So we're getting pretty decent readings on all three, which means the wiring is probably good, um, barring any tone differences, but at least they're functionally good. Let's go get that guy over in the rack and tune him up. Okay, back at the rack. Guitar's put together. Um, kind of a minor setup, got it close to being uh, what I want it to be. Finding the, the treble on the bridge pickups a little bit too much still, so there'll probably be some adjustments going on. Um, I'm going to play it through Agnator M4, recent pickup for me. Going to cycle through a couple of the modules. Um, for effects, we're using the Rocktron, Intel, or Rocktron Repliflex. Uh, the patch I'm using is solo backing, it's kind of my go-to there. and then back for a power amp 
using the Marshall 2020 in your Lady 4s, and then uh, through a 212. Uh, it's black back with the V30. So we'll hit the neck pickup first. Let's play a big chord. <laughs> Back to the basement. <laughs> 
Till next time.